Do you want to eat oatmeal in the morning but don't have time? Well, overnight oats are a great solution, but that's another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make oatmeal breakfast bars. Hey guys, I'm Yumna, aka Feel Good Foodie, and I pretty much eat oatmeal five days a week. These oatmeal breakfast bars are basically oatmeal in bar form, so they're great for on-the-go snacking and breakfast. These are more substantial and healthier than packaged breakfast bars. And the cool thing about them is that you can really customize them with any kind of add-ins. I think you're really gonna like them. So let's get started because I know you're on the go and we have no time to waste. We're gonna start by mixing together the dry ingredients. So as you guessed it, the first big dry ingredients is oats. I like to use old fashioned rolled oats and we're gonna use two cups of it. I don't recommend quick oats because they're going to be too mushy for this recipe. And I don't recommend still cut oats because they need double or sometimes triple the amount of cooking time and liquid. I'm just gonna add two cups of oats to a large bowl, half a cup of cane sugar, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder to help it rise, some cinnamon for flavor, and salt to round off the flavor. All right, we're gonna whisk it all together and I just like to use a fork for this just to make sure that everything is nice and combined. Next, we're gonna mix together the wet ingredients. So I'm gonna use this uh, measuring cup right here. And the wet ingredients are two eggs, half a cup of milk. I'm using some almond milk, but you can use any kind of milk. A fourth of a cup of applesauce. You can also use oil or butter here. I like to use the applesauce just to keep it on the lighter side. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract, <laughs> if we can open it. We're gonna mix all the wet ingredients together and that's it. Now we're gonna transfer the wet ingredients on top of the dry ingredients. All right, now we're gonna stir everything together. And this is probably looking a lot just like your regular bowl of oatmeal. And that's because a lot of the ingredients are pretty much the same with the addition of the eggs. Now what you wanna do is you wanna let this set for 20 minutes. The oats are really going to absorb all that moisture and it's just really gonna help everything bake better in the oven so it doesn't crumble together and it really looks like a bar. All right, the batter's been setting for 20 minutes and now it's time to add in whatever toppings you want. My rule of thumb here is I like to add about half a cup of any kind of topping. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to add some walnuts and cranberries. You can throw chocolate chips in here. You can do um, coconut. You can add chia seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds. There's so much you can add to this. I also like to add in a couple tablespoons of peanut butter as well. It gives it really good flavor. We'll add a fourth of a cup of chopped walnuts and a fourth of a cup of cranberry. I like this combination of the two. It kind of has like a nice nutty taste, a little bit of tartness from the cranberry. Uh, raisins also work really well in here. And now just give it a stir just to fold in all the add-ins. And we're gonna bake these in an eight by eight baking pan. I'm gonna use some parchment paper for easy release and cleanup. And what I like to do is just place the parchment paper under the baking pan like this. And you'll notice that the parchment paper is a little bit bigger than the baking pan, and that's because it makes it much easier to release later on. Then I'm gonna take some scissors and add some slits in the corner. And that just makes it much easier to add it to the baking pan so you're not fumbling around with the edges. We're gonna take this, place it in here, and then just kind of fold in the corners like this. So then, whatever's overlap. You don't have to cut them. You can just fold them in like this so that you have nice straight edges so that it makes a nice square like this. Okay, time to transfer the batter right to the baking pan. And you might notice that the oats have actually thickened a little bit and you'll see that the mixture is not as liquidy as it was before it was setting. I probably could have used the bigger spatula. Pro tip, use a bigger spatula. All right, the reason I do like to use a smaller spatula though is for getting in between the corners so they're nice and straight. So I'm just gonna smooth it out like this and then just try to um, get everything into every little crevice of this baking pan. All right, it's ready for the oven at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, it's time to cut up the oatmeal breakfast bars. Remember I mentioned earlier about using pretty large parchment paper? This is the reason why it makes it super easy to just pull it out like that. And that way you've got nice neat edges. The cleanup is much easier over here in the pan and it just makes everything look so much better. So you can cut these into long bars or you can cut them into squares. I like cutting them into 16 squares so there's more of them. So I'm gonna cut it down the middle first and then cut them into little squares. All right, time for a taste test. Oh my gosh, they came out so good. The texture is nice and chewy. They have a subtle sweetness to them and overall they just taste really well balanced and have excellent flavor. I can't wait for you guys to try these. 
I love this recipe because it's easy, it's healthy, and it's super versatile. I love that you can also throw everything together in a bowl the night before, and you've got oatmeal breakfast bars the next day. These are great for lunch boxes, for breakfast on the go, or even just for snacking anytime in between. There's so much to love about this recipe. If you make these, be sure to DM me, tweet me, Facebook me, or send me a comment on the website. I love hearing about your recreations and seeing all your awesome pictures. And if you like this video, be sure to share the love and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you at the next video.